Hey guys, Joelster here. Have you ever tried a wireless sound system? So this is the Monaco 5.1 by Platin. This is a WISA, I hope I pronounced it right, WISA certified system. So WISA stands for Wireless Speaker and Audio Association. They're pretty much setting up the standards for wireless, high definition, multi-channel audio. So this system works seamlessly together with WISA compatible devices and speakers. Now in this case, it works with the Xbox One, Windows 10 devices, and also 2019 and 2020 LG OLED TVs and NanoCell TVs as well. So basically what this system does, it reduces the need for speaker wires. I have a full 5.1 sound system without the receiver and I don't have to deal with speaker wires. So in this video, I'm going to show you what you get when you purchase the system, how to set it up and how it works. So welcome to the channel. I'm Jolster and let's do this. All right, so in the box, you'll get the instructions, all the power cables, the wireless transmitter, and of course, all the speakers. including a six and a half inch subwoofer. Inside the transmitter box, there is a USB cable, which you'll need to connect it to your Xbox or to your TV. The wireless transmitter has a micro USB port and an LED indicator in the front, and also a reset button at the bottom. All right, so you will need speaker wires, but each speaker needs to be connected to a power outlet. So they obviously need power. The speakers are 30 watts. They have the power port, a service port, and a button just in case if you need to manual connect them. Although they do connect automatically when they're powered up. Now at the bottom, they have this foamy surface so they can sit firmly and they have the adapter for a stand. Now the subwoofer is facing downwards and has the option for wireless or wired. There's also an on and off switch, so be sure to turn it on once it's connected. Okay, so the first thing to do is to connect the power cable to the speakers. The subwoofer has this L shape, so be sure to use that one. And one thing I like about this sub is that it fits perfectly on my TV stand. Then you need to start connecting each speaker to the power outlet. Then you start seeing the network light blinking. All right guys, so this is how I set up my front speakers. Everything looks clean and organized. For the time being, I set up the surround speakers on top of my Nakamichi rear speakers. All right, so now it's time to connect the transmitter to the micro USB cable. And the other end goes to my Xbox One. All right, so it is now time to download the app. It's called Axim Link. Follow the instructions. It pretty much tells you to do what I already showed you. So when you're done, you will need to download some updates and you'll notice the LED will start blinking. All right guys, so now that I have everything set up, let me show you how the application works and what you can do with this. So first of all, you have the control uh, right here. You can control the volume, right? And then on top we have speakers. So over here we select speakers. You can view the speakers or you can also search for speakers. So we're gonna click on search for speakers right now. All right guys, so after I click that, you can see that all the speakers are already selected. You have the subwoofer, rear surround sound speakers and the front and also the center speakers. Now, if you need to reassign because just for any reason you made a mistake, you press, you click one of them, one of the speakers in this case have the subwoofer, 
and then you can select which one is it. So I'm going to select back again, the subwoofer. That way you can, for any reason you need to reassign. And after that, you just click on save and it's saving the, the position of each speaker. This is very important. So you guys can get good surround sound. Now over here in audio, you have, for example, right here, we have party mode and up mixing. So party mode pretty much sends audio to all the speakers is the same equal audio. Um, I don't want to do that unless you're listening to music probably, but I want to have up mixing. Up mixing is pretty much, uh, it says convert stereo content to surround sound based on speaker and configuration. That's what I have it. That way I can get all this surround sound effect, right? It's over here in bass management. You have, I have this one in optimize. You can disable the bass if you don't want to, you can customize it, but I have it in optimize. We also have a global equalizer over here. We have different presets. You guys can choose your own. You can also customize your own presets, but you have plenty. I'm using pop for right now. It sounds really good. In my opinion, over here, we have per speaker equalizer. So you can pretty much control the each speaker if you want, or the subwoofer or uh, center, for example, center, you can control what do you want in there you can volume and everything each speaker has its own equalizer if you want now over here per speaker volume same thing you can increase the volume on each speaker if you want to do that right now i have everything in the middle and i believe on audio that's about it let's go over here to settings and status this is everything is online this is the the serial number that I have, and I have this one connected to my Xbox, so an Xbox audio. And if you want to connect it to a, your TV or the uh, WISA supported device, then you can press USB right here. But for, for right now, I'm using it through the Xbox. And over here, everything is looks like it's connected. I have the version that I'm using. If you need any help, then you can send an email through here. Very, very awesome. Over here, we have the mute button. If you don't want to hear anything, just mute and that's it. Very easy to control. Now, also, if you close this, you have, have this little quick access on my phone, which you can increase the volume if you want to, or you can mute the whole system. And that's about it. Now, guys, if for any reason you need to reset your unit, there is a little button right over here. You, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's right over here. You can feel a little bump. Just press it and hold it for a few seconds and then you'll see the light will light up. This little LED will light up and stay lit for a little bit. That way you can reset your system. Sometimes if your Xbox doesn't want to recognize it or your TV, that's how you do it. I don't do it right now because otherwise it also resets the speakers. So you need to reassign your speakers once again. Otherwise you won't hear anything. So make sure that if you do that, you reassign your speakers one more time all right guys so over here on my xbox there was nothing i had to do nothing special so let me show you what i'm what settings i have for the audio let's go to volume and audio output and these are the settings that i have there is nothing special let's go to setup tv and av that's it i have this one audio I have it in stereo hdmi i didn't change anything at all everything you have to do through the app all you have to do is make sure you select the USB under Xbox One and that is pretty much it. So let's go to a game. Let's see how this sounds, guys, because this is impressive. Enemy shield post on the field. Enemy at the construction site. All right, guys, so first of all, this sounds amazing. The sound is very rich and clear. It can get very loud. Another thing I noticed is that it separates the surround effects correctly, like the voices and explosions, the gunshots come from every direction, so it is very immersive. There is no sound latency. That is something that I was very concerned because this device is wireless, but I haven't had any issues at all. As a matter of fact, 
Being WISA certified, you'll need to go through certain standards to allow up to 8 channels of uncompressed 24-bit 48kHz or up to 96kHz of high-resolution audio with low 5.2 milliseconds of latency and less than 1 microsecond of synchronization between speakers, which means that you can beam wireless high-resolution audio with no lag, so there's no lip-sync issues while playing games or watching movies. Now also, being able to transmit high-res audio means that it can support Dolby Atmos, so imagine having your Dolby Atmos speakers without the need of running speaker wires all the way to the front of the receiver. Now with that being said, keep in mind that each speaker still requires power, so they need to be close to a power outlet. Now I did run into an issue while trying to connect the system to my OLED TV. Although it says that it works with 2019 LG uh, OLED and NanoCell TVs, it doesn't work with models from Costco. Now I said this before in an old video, but Costco has great products, but when it comes down to TVs, they always have the basic models or try to cut some corners to save some money. Now in this case, their OLED models doesn't come with a WISA support, so I can't use my device on my C9 OLED TV. So if you're interested in this system to work with your LG TV, make sure that you don't buy it at Costco because it just won't work. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll be there to answer some of your questions. So far, this is a great quality product. So uh, hopefully we'll see more in the future, right? Some more WISA or WISA power speaker and system. This, is, this works flawlessly. I love it. All right, guys, I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jolster out.